Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com here with another weekly Lightroom edit. Now, in this week's Lightroom edit, we're going to break it into a two part series. What you see here is an image submitted by Ryan Phillips, uh, one of our readers based out of the UK. Ryan is a photographer and he's asking us to do basically a vintage effect with this image. So, we're going to do that. We also had another reader request from Vivian Tran to do a portrait retouch. So, we're going to do that as well. So, we're going to break this into a two part series. In the first part, we're going to handle all of our basic uh, Lightroom adjustments as well as the retouch side so that if you want to just go that far you can and then the second part we're going to cover turning it into a vintage photo like the one you see here which is all done inside of Lightroom. So let's get started. I'm going to go back to my original image. I'm going to hit D to take me to my develop module and let's just go over the basics on how this image was shot. So I'm going to hit I to pull up my information. We can see since this is a .NEF file it was shot on a Nikon camera. I believe it was on a D300S. Um, and let's go look at the settings. So it shot at 1 1 of a second at f4.8 ISO 500. It's a beautiful portrait image, a, a great composition, great lighting, great exposure. And it, it's really shot almost flawlessly out of camera. So let's get started with the basic production. So I'm going to hit I to pull my uh, information back. I don't want to see it anymore. We're going to drop our basic panel down and let's get started with the largest adjustment first, which is going to be our temperature on the shot. Now, I'm not sure why, but Nikon does have a tendency to come into Lightroom uh, a bit on the green side, just kind of the defaults of how they're how they're set up for Lightroom. So I'm often adding back uh, quite a bit of pinks and magentas to get that that skin tone back. So I'm going to add a little bit here, and we're going to go up to about 3,300 temperature. I want to get this really color corrected. Usually, we try and err a little bit on the warmer side just to be safe, but let's get it as close to accurate as possible. So for my taste, I think 3300 and plus 8 tint is good. Now what we're going to do here is because we are a little bit highlight heavy in this image, like on the nose and the cheekbone and stuff, we're going to pull back our exposure just a little bit. Um, I'm also going to add a little bit of recovery and this is just going to serve to kind of balance out these skin tones a little bit, just to pull back the highlights a little bit and balance it all out. Next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of fill light. I want to fill in some of these shadows and then I'm going to add a, more blacks to just kind of add that additional contrast to the image. Um, now it, it's going to kind of crush some of the black detail a little bit and that's okay but we don't want to go too far. So if I hit J to look at my highlight alert you can see that the deep deep shadows on the hair and on the shirt is is we've clipped all the detail out. That's okay I'm not worried about that because well number one we're going to do this as a vintage image. Number two you need to have a little bit of pure blacks and a little bit of pure whites in every single shot to have that good contrast um, unless you're going for like a vintage faded effect. So this looks fine right now. Uh, we're going to move on to brightness. Um, we're okay on the brightness right now. If I go up any higher, you can notice that I'm losing detail. If I go any lower, then I lose my whites and my eyes and stuff. So plus 50 is about right. I'm going to be really careful with contrast. I don't want to add contrast right now because you'll notice that if I add contrast, it's going to really, I mean, we get a lot of nice contrast in the hair and stuff, but it really kills the highlights on the skin. Um, it creates kind of these strange uh, like amplified color tones on the skin and it also really lifts out the overall highlights and shadows. So let's drop that back down to 25. We're going to go on to clarity. We're going to add some clarity but this is because this is a general adjustment. We're going to go back and in the retouch part of this I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. I'm also going to add a little bit of vibrance to it and I think we're good about there with our basic uh, adjustments. So let's click on the panel to close it up and let's go down to the detail panel. Let's add in our standard sharpening. We're going to zoom in all the way. Let's start with our standard and see where that gets us. I'm going to go to 1.5 and 30. And at there, I'm good. This eye is a tiny bit out of focus, but it looks fine. It looks great. I'm not going to worry about sharpening or anything like that individually. So that looks great. And we're done with our basic. So now that we've gone this far, let's go and do the retouch portion of this tutorial. Now, I know I said it was going to be a two-part series. Let's actually break this into three parts because I can see that we're already getting a little bit lengthy on the basic tutorial. So let's move on to the next one. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover the retouch side of this. And then in the final one, we'll cover turning this into a vintage image. Let's take what we've done so far and we're, we're going to save it as a new snapshot for this image. So we're just going to say basic color corrected. Let's also reset the image out and then we're going to add one other snapshot which is going to be the original image. And uh, so we, let's go flip back and forth. So we have our basic color corrector right here. You can see the after and here's the original image. We've just done a good job of kind of smoothing out the highlights, adding a little bit of pinks back to the skin. If you guys feel like there's a little bit too much pink, um, you guys can always adjust it yourself. Adjust the pinks down a little bit, adjust the temperature up a little more. 
it's not going to matter too much in the end on this image because we are going to turn into a vintage style anyway. But uh, go with your own preference on that and let's go on to the next tutorial where we're going to cover the retouch portion of this tutorial.